What's up, lovebirds? Welcome back. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and I have something extra special for you guys today. I'll be showing you my recipe for pasta carbonara. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell and enable notifications as well. All right, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. We're going to start by dicing up one half of a yellow onion. In traditional pasta carbonara, onions and garlic are not used. However, for my recipe, I feel like it makes it taste a lot better. So that's what we're going for here. We're going to dice up one onion as you see me doing right here. Nice and fine like your significant other. Follow me on this one, guys. We're going to earn some brownie points this Valentine's Day. All right, once that onion is diced up, we're going to set that aside until later. And then we're going to talk about this right here. This is guanciale. It's basically the uh, jaw meat from the pig. Super flavorful. If you can't find it, then you can always use pancetta or thick cut bacon. I got this from Wegmans. They usually have it in stock if you have a local Wegmans in your area. Give it a try. We're going to dice it up into bite-sized pieces. We're going to use about four to six ounces of this. And I'm also going to use four ounces of pancetta as well. Again, guys, if you can't find either of those two ingredients, just use thick cut bacon. Probably four to six strips. We're going to cut this into bite sized pieces. It's going to render a lot of its fat during the cooking process, which is going to flavor this pasta dish tremendously. Keep on working. Looking good. Let me know in the comments if you ever had pasta carbonara, if you plan to make it. I'd love to see it. Make sure you tag me on social media so I can see what you guys are working with. Here is my four ounces of uncured pancetta. We're going in with two egg yolks and two whole eggs for this. As always guys, the specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below. Make sure you get all of that egg yolk out of there. It's gonna make for an absolutely creamy and delicious sauce. And there's those two eggs we talked about. Good quality eggs here make a difference, guys. So spend the extra one or two dollars on your eggs. Just go around at the grocery store. I like to use free range, nice bright yellow or orange yolks. Next, another star of the show is Pecorino Romano cheese. If you can't find this or it's not in the budget, then you can always use Parmesan cheese. This stuff is pretty expensive, but again, adds tons of flavor. And these little adjustments to the recipe really make a big difference in flavor. So if it's in the budget, go ahead and get you some Pecorino Romano. If not, hey, Parmesan cheese will get the job done. Next up, we're going to dice up about a half cup of fresh chopped parsley. Make sure you sharpen your knives, guys. Remember, a dull knife is much more likely to cut you than a sharp one. So always sharpen your knives before or after each use. Looking good. Next, we're going to whisk our eggs and mix in that cheese that we just shredded. This is going to be the foundation of our sauce that we're going to make for this carbonara. There we go. Keep on mixing until everything is well incorporated, as you see here. Nice and simple recipe, guys. This is actually my wife's favorite pasta, so uh, that's why I chose it for Valentine's Day. We're going to heavily salt some pasta water here, and then we're going to boil our pasta to package instructions. Today, I'm using thin spaghetti, but regular spaghetti or linguine would work for, for this recipe as well. Salting your pasta water is very important. That way you get some nice seasoning in there. Next up, we're going to begin cooking our guanciale or thick cut bacon if you can't find this stuff. We're going to do this over medium low heat. We want to kind of do this nice and slow. That way it has time to render out all of that delicious fat, which again is going to be the foundation of flavor for this pasta dish. Going in with that pancetta. Oh man, your house is going to be smelling absolutely amazing. Get your wife a nice gift, maybe some flowers, have her come downstairs smelling this in the kitchen. You're setting yourself up for success, guys. Trust me. Once your pork has rendered out all of its delicious fat, we're going to use a slotted spoon to strain this, leaving behind all of that flavor in the pot. Then we're going in with a half diced onion. Move that around a bit. Let that start to cook two to three minutes until it becomes tender. 
nothing smells better than onions and bacon fat. Then we're gonna go back in with that uh, guanciale and pancetta. And then we're also gonna go in with one to two tablespoons of garlic. Again, garlic is traditionally not used in a carbonara recipe. However, I like garlic, so I'm using it. It's your kitchen, do what you wanna do, guys. Next, we're gonna take those cooked noodles that are nice and al dente and, and add them to the pot with our meat and onions. Toss that around a bit. You wanna preserve about a cup or so of that pasta water, guys. Don't forget that because you're gonna need it to kind of thin out the sauce a little bit. We're doing this over medium low heat. Once we've incorporated the noodles, we're gonna add in a little bit of that pasta water we just talked about and turn our heat off. And then we're gonna mix in the egg and cheese mixture. You wanna make sure that the heat is not too high for this because you don't wanna make scrambled eggs. You just want that sauce to kind of emulsify. And just make sure you keep spinning it around with your tongs or your fork, whatever you're using until you see a nice creamy consistency develop. The residual heat will cook the eggs and you'll have a nice delicious sauce. Next, we're gonna mix in some grated Parmesan cheese and some black pepper. I like using a lot of black pepper for this recipe, but you know, seasons to taste always adjust to your preference. Looking good. Finally, we're going in with that chopped parsley for a pop of color and a little bit of fresh herb flavor. And then it's gonna be time to plate this up, guys. I can't wait for you guys to try this recipe. Let me know in the comments if you've ever had pasta carbonara. I know sometimes it can throw people off with the eggs being used as the foundation of the sauce, but trust me on this one, it is absolutely delicious. Quick little money shot for you guys, a little pasta porn. Going down with a little bit more fresh cracked black pepper, a little bit more parsley just for a pop of color. And damn if that's not a good bowl of pasta carbonara. Going down with a little bit more of that overpriced Pecorino Romano cheese. Oh man, that looks good. Where's my fork? You know I gotta try this one. You can just see the sauce coated so beautifully on those noodles. All right, here's the moment of truth. Trying to find the perfect bite. Come on, man, any day now, we're hungry. Oh man, the face says it all, guys. If you point at it, you know it's real. I'm gonna take this and go off camera. Hope you guys have a safe and happy Valentine's Day to the lovebirds out there. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, and as always, thank you for your support.